Welcome to an out of the box unboxing. Today we're going to be looking at Flamecraft. Um, I completely missed this on Kickstarter when it was going through or it was Game Pound or wherever it was. Um, but then I was pretty excited to see that my local game store, Vault Games, had it in stock before Christmas. So I picked up a copy and um, yeah, here it is. Now, this is a game for, let's have a look, it should say on the edge. There we go. One to five players. One is a good 60 minutes, age 10 plus. And it's about dragons building and being artisans in a street. Anyway, let's have a look and see what's in it. It's quite a, quite a heavy box, so I'm quite excited to see what this is. Um, I don't know if this is a Kickstarter edition. All I can, all I can say is I got it from retail. Um, and I guess we'll see what is in box. I can get it out of its plastic. There we go. I feel like a craft knife to get things going. Okay. So, Jackie box. The rules of play. Cute little dragons everywhere. Art on this is just delightful. Here we go, I've got components. Um, I know that it's got a massive table layout, so um, that's going to be interesting. Rules. I'll look at those at some point. Shops, companions, achievements. Oh, achievements to play through. Solo mode, which is always good for me. It's set up as a three-player game. Okay, and what have I got? Tokens. These are little card tokens, pretty thin. Um, and there's lots of them. So hopefully, hopefully some bags in there as well. And even more tokens. Okay, and we've got cards. Where to start? Why don't I move these out of the way? Let's have a look at this. Oh, I kind of accept, expected the um, the board to be cast, but it's not. It's a mat. It's a neoprene mat. And that is massive. That's really nice, though. Let's see if I can zoom in on the mat. It's really vibrant colours. And it is huge. Why? I bought a tape measure to measure the cards, but um, why don't we see how big this is? I don't even think I can fit it on my camera area. Never have I had a neoprene mat that is so big. Well, it's outside your view, but um, let's have a look. It is 106 centimeters, so 41 and a half inches. That is a big mat. But um, doesn't smell too bad. One of the things I've had with neoprene mats in the past is they're a bit smelly. Um, this one seems okay. I wouldn't mind playing it straight away. No need to ear it, which is always a bonus. All right, let's get back to see what we've got in the box. Hey, it's a dra game about dragons. So there's got to be some dragons in here. Um, I do note that there is... Oh, yeah, there are. There are hundreds of little bags, well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bags for your tokens. So that's pretty great. That's very useful. And I've got these little, these are wooden meeples. Dragon. Let's have a look at these closer up. Yeah, they're very cute. I like those a lot. And let's see the look. So I can go back in there. Now it looks like we've got um, some rather large cards. I didn't. I had a look on the back of the box to see what kind of cards we might get. I bought a variety of sleeves. These are tarot ones that aren't going to fit. These ones are prime board game sleeves. So these might fit. 
no chance that it's bigger than those. So yeah, I think these are the biggest sleeves that I've ever seen. So I don't think I'll be sleeving these. Let's have a look anyway. So these are the different stalls, I think, for the um, you move around town. If you look at these, you've got these um, stall frontages. I imagine these fit nicely there. Um, there's some on the other side as well. And that means, and if these get randomized, um, you're going to have lots of different shops. But these are they're thin, but really nice art. We've got a linen feel to them. And I'm not too bothered about not having to sleeve them because I don't think you're going to be shuffling them very often. Yeah, these are really nice. Cartoony art, cute dragons. Yeah, great. So these now all have the same back. So they're, they're the town. And then we've got um, little packs of dragons. What have we got here? Matches and and oh, I've got little um, hearts, so one for each dragon, so that's 50 points, I wonder if there's a, oh it's probably to do with there's some tracks on the board, so I imagine those are tracks for scoring. But yeah, it's, um, <laughs> I really like the look of the board, let's have a look on this one, so they can go back in there. Got some more big cards. And what do we got? These look like player aids. So let's have a look at that. So we've got player aid for, oh yeah, and a summary sheet for each player. That's handy. Oh, and then a solo, which is even better for me. Oh, and then achievements to check off. Unlike achievements, you must have a reputation of 75 and above, and then you can go for some of your achievements, so that's great. Added value, I am more city cards, so I always have some more city cards in that pack. Critical roles, oh, funny. Um, okay, and what else we got? So these are little cards, and they're all the same size. I bought a selection of sleeves to see what might fit. I guess I could measure them, that would cheat. They are 45 by 68, 45 by 68. Probably many European. Yeah, there you go. So that's your standard mini European sleeve size. So we're sleeving those up later. And let's have a look and see what these look like. Okay, it's going to focus on the for me. Okay, so these look like things that you score. Again, very cute little dragons. And there's a whole lot of there, and those all have the same back. Um, I guess they could go in bags as well. Um, I think the thing I'm most impressed about so far is the um, playmat. That is beyond what I expected. I expected some kind of cardboard fold out. So that is really neat. All right, more cards. These ones all look like, again, little dragons. Of different. Um, requirements and probably bonuses and they all have 
Check those ones are a different back. Oh mate, oh these are like the player character. These are the different colours. I should read the rules at some point. And while we're here, let's do the last one. And then our unboxing will be complete. Okay. This one's still focused. Again, nice little cards, they've got a little velveteen finish to them. These ones are look like they are uh, things that you're going to have to achieve, collect, in order to build your stuff. It is called Flamecraft, after all. And a couple more dragons at the end. They look like bonuses, start bonuses for the different dragons. Yeah, they've got more coloured bags, so makes it very easy to sort the colours. There we go. There's a lot of goodness in there. So, what am I impressed about so far? I really like the little dragon meeples. They are super cute. The art is fantastic. The colours are vivid. Big cards. Lots of... Lots of um, plastic bags, which is always handy. And I love the um, neoprene mat. I think that is awesome. I think that is, yeah, I was not expecting that. I'll do the tokens, I've got tokens. Looking forward to finding some space on my table and getting that mat laid out. There is Flamecraft, great looking game, very cute. Don't forget to subscribe and like.